Welcome music lovers, Banjo Thong 2023. I am the uh, videographer for this August event and uh, so far some wonderfully momentous things have happened and I hold in my hands one of the more ones that are personally momentous. This banjo is not mine, but it should have been mine. Uh, about 1971, I bought a 1925 Fernie F5 from a man named Maurice Mickey in Indiana. When I completed my doctoral studies at the University of Oklahoma in 1972, Defended my dissertation, packed my, packed, packed my gear up, and uh, moved to Atlanta. And after I had gone, Maurice Mickey called my Oklahoma City number to offer me this PB5, played from banjo. Uh, my friend Jack Hatfield tells me it's 1927. I, I knew the rim was about then, but the tone ring uh, I knew had to be later. And as I recall, the sticker is not cut. Is that correct, correct? Correct. Yeah, it has an uncut sticker and a flathead tone ring. And uh, but anyway, when when Maurice Mickey was informed that my number had been was no longer in service, uh, he pulled out his Plan B and called Al Amazano up in Elmira Heights, New York, and offered him the banjo. And Al bought it. And I had made Al a, a neck for a Granada uh, earlier, and so Al shipped me the banjo to make a neck for him. So I, I, I built this neck in 1963, uh, 73, I'm sorry, uh, in, in uh, my garage in, in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I will endeavor to make something resembling banjo music out of it. 